First thing I'm gonna do on here is turn the gain all the way down. Frequency all the way up. These can be put back where you want them when you're all done. Gain down. First thing we're going to do is find out when the deck distorts. Looks like that's our number. Keep it at 61. Leave it there. Turn the gain up. Until I see distortion again. Leave it there. Hit read. Change tracks. Okay, I'm going to adjust the overlap now. Since it's a little speaker on a lot of power, I'm going to go ahead and use 3 dB. Okay, so 3 dB on the mids and highs. Now we're going to switch over and do the bass. Same thing. I'm going to adjust the gain on this. I'm turning this up until I see distortion. There we go. Hit read, change tracks. I'm going to do 10 dB on this one since it's a woofer and it can handle the power just fine. So that's just a matter of breathing on it. There we go. So there we go. The amp is set. Let's see how it sounds. So you know when you hop in your buddy's car and that shit is just slapping at 22 out of 62? Well, his gains ain't set right, guaranteed. Now we should be able to turn this thing all the way up to the point of distortion and not hurt the system at all. The whole point of using gain overlaps is because you might have a speaker that doesn't handle the power that this amp puts out, so you back it off a little. Or maybe it's putting out more power than you want it to. You can back it off a little bit. So we can do 3, 3.5, 3.2, whatever you want. So I have this little speaker bridge to this amp using 3 dB of overlap. It should be pretty safe. Woofer at 10 should be pretty balanced out. If that woofer over there starts overpowering your mizzen eyes, instead of using a minus 10 uh, setting, you could use minus 8. You can use minus 7. But either way, you should be safe when it's all done. All right, now that everything's set the way I want it, you can put your crossovers and everything where you want them. I'm gonna go ahead and put this to high pass. Turn the crossover down a little bit. And uh, same thing on the bass. Now, now instead of this thing going buck wild at 23 or 30 out of 62, I should be able to turn it all the way up to 61 at the point the deck originally distorts at and be good to go. So check this out.